So, how to put a wetsuit on? A wetsuit on. It's really not that difficult. First of all, grab your wetsuit. So as you notice, I've kept my socks on, which is my first top tip. Um, it just makes getting the first bit of the suit, the legs on, that little bit easier to do. Your legs will just pop through a little bit easier there. There you go. Uh, you can see I've got socks on and I've got a decent gap between me and the wetsuit. Next leg go in. And again, pull that one up. Um, quite high as well it just allows you to get the legs up a little bit more In this particular wetsuit you can cut the uh, the legs as well it's got little cut lines um, on the bottom if you want to trim them if you've got um, shorter legs or you just don't like to have too much buoyancy in your ankles that's pretty much good to go there's not too many creases that bit's easy take your socks off now um, if you've got a plastic bag, I know some people use those, but I always think socks is easy because you've pretty much always got socks on. And then the top half. So again, just checking that you haven't got any creases because it's a lot easier to pull everything up now. Check, check the back, see I've got a little bit of a crease there. So I'm just going to pull that up at the back. Okay, and then we're ready to go on with the arms. And again, you can use a plastic bag if you want to get your arm in, it might be a bit easier. It's a bit easier to get a wetsuit on when it's dry. Um, this is a little bit damp so I used it yesterday, but it still goes on pretty well. And then when you come to the actual arm, try and um, get as much of your wrist through and as a guide, pretend you're wearing a watch and you want to clear that watch with your wetsuit. So that just means that all this fabric's a lot easier to pull up your arm and it'll free your shoulder up. And on the on the suit, it's got um, a straight line here uh, so that I can know where the neoprene sits, which is really, really handy. Same with the left arm. Again, I've got it quite far up my wrist, just so I can pull the neoprene up pretty easy. Okay. Final bit is you can bend over and grab the torso of the wetsuit just to pull that extra bit of fabric up before you go ahead and zip it. And again, just check for any uh, creases. So that's what, taking a couple of minutes to do. It's really not that hard. So you, should, you rush in before you race and getting worried a little bit. Maybe practice this a few times. Um, because really, it doesn't take that long to do. And I know a lot of people put wetsuits on, you know, 30 minutes to an hour before the race start. And in hot climates, you know, it's a hot sunny day today, uh, you don't want to be stood in a wetsuit baking before your race. So I normally give myself maybe, I don't know, uh, 10 minutes um, max to put a wetsuit on. But really, in essence, it takes less than five. Uh, so now the back part, the zip. Um, so I'm going to try and do this. Uh, without an able assistant. On this one, it's a, a reverse zip, so it's a bit easier to do, because I can just uh, grab it at the top. There we go, that's on. Um, so what I like to do at the, uh, at, with the top of the wetsuit is keep my uh, lanyard just hanging at the bottom because I just think it's a lot easier to uh, to get to out of transition because it's right there. I'm not scrambling for it up here or anything and it won't bunch the collar up. Um, it, this one does come uh, with Velcro on the lanyard so you can put it behind um, your neck just there and then do the tab over. But again, I just like to keep my lanyard dangling down so I can get to it quickly um, in one simple motion. So to recap, um, the main focus is obviously put the legs on first, get the leg as high up the ankle as, as you can really, um, and same on the wrist, so you've got a decent amount of room, um, and then pull up the neoprene from them. Don't put it on and have this really low and then try and drag it up. Just start um, you know, quite high up the wrist and up the leg, and then pull it on. It'll make it a lot easier to get on. Other things to look out when, you, uh, when you're putting the suit on is, uh, 
these things your nails you might want to put gloves on for some of the bits that um, you're going to pull up or get someone to do that bit who haven't got sharp nails because that's really um, a common thing is people nick wetsuits uh, with the nails or other sharp objects and before you get in the water you might want to put a bit of vaseline on as well if you've got a super tight wetsuit um, you might want to put vaseline on your wrists so it comes off a little bit quicker around your ankles and you know a lot of people go for um, for vaseline or baby oil or something body glide on the neck so it doesn't chafe luckily this suit's got a 10k collar so don't need any of that you're pretty much good to go there um, again just like look for any creases in the suit if there is then there's probably areas that you can pull up a little bit just to put on a little bit easier um, but other than that it shouldn't be that hard it shouldn't be a daunting process um, you shouldn't have to put it on an hour before the race either right let's go for a splash <laughs> 